today's Wild Wednesday segment, we have several animal visitors, Ringo and Rascal, and they're humans. Uh, Chuck and Sally Alverding are here from Wildlife Geeks. Welcome. Thanks for bringing these guys. Yeah, you bet. Um, they're a mix between kangaroo and capybara. To tell us the story. And yeah, introduce so them. they come from a small place in Argentina, uh -huh. and they're only about two weeks old. And it's and feeding time right yes, now. So they've, been, they've been squeaky and hungry. Their closest <gasps> cousin is a capybara, uh -huh. and their second closest is a rock kangaroo, so they will run, but if they feel threatened, they'll kick with those back legs and hop away. Um, so imagine being a nine-year-old girl and being at a birthday party and get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with this little baby. I feel like a nine-year-old girl right yeah, now. That right when they come sweetheart. on, everybody just goes, oh, and these sweet little babies. What makes these animals so precious to people? I mean, they obviously are adorable. Oh, I'm well, the, the, But the biggest thing is they're, like I said, their closest rest. cousin is a capybara, so they have the same mentality. And they're just sweethearts. I mean, they wouldn't bite you if they had to. And, and they love the attention. And I probably wasn't paying attention just for looking at them. But the species, what do you call this? Oh, they're called a Pandagonian Mara. Pandagonian Mara. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, they're just, it's the sweetest animal I've ever worked with. And they're just, they'll snuggle right with you. And, and so they'll get, I mean, they'll get about that big, about uh, two and a half, three feet when they're full grown. But like I said, these guys are only two weeks old and just very, very unique species. Have they been to any um, events yet, or are they kind of they too little? To, they've been to two. They've been yeah, to two. last couple of and, days. And that's, that's the thing. It. You think about whether it's a birthday party or a little community event, people get to see these animals. They get to learn about them. They get to hold them, and no matter how much they wriggle around. Um, exactly. What does somebody gain from the experience? You spend some time handling and getting to know an animal that you might never encounter. Right, right, right. And we don't, uh, we don't just say, you know, here's an animal. We really talk about the conservation yeah. part and about them learning about animals and getting in front of kids that mo a lot of the kids don't get outside. So it's yep. really a big uh, eye opener and they really get involved. Well, how do these guys, so right now they're two weeks old. Uh, talk about uh, what they eat, how they move, what kind of habitat they are. They yeah, so we've got an indoor enclosure mm -hmm. and an outdoor enclosure. And um, they're very much a group animal. Mm -hmm. So we have these two babies and they're, they're both um, from the same group. And um, yeah, so they're, yeah, they're just very, very interactive. And um, what do they yeah. eat besides once oh, they so go the, past the milk? Yeah, so they're, they eat mostly um, grasses and grains and uh, vegetables as well. But they're so, just sweet. And their squeaks, do they communicate with each other with oh some yeah, squeaks? They, they get louder when they, they get They have bigger? a lot of squeaks and odd uh -huh. noises, but they have an amazing purr. A so purr. When they, yeah, so when they get connected with you, you can put them right up to them. They'll get right up to your neck, and they'll just purr. And, I mean, it's the sweetest thing on the planet. So you yeah. guys settle down at the end of the night with these animals on your yeah, on yeah, yeah. On your shoulders. <laughs> right, right. We pull them right up on, on the couch, and they just snuggle right with you. Oh, my gosh. So well, they're just beyond... Anything else that would just surprise people or you just want people to know about how special these guys are? Because I know you're passionate about all your animals, but anything else on these? Yeah, well, we all, oh, well, no, they're just very unique and very, very sweet. Yep. So it's a great way to talk to people about um, animals and just like endangered animals and, and stuff like that and well, just thinking about them. But we also now, brought another guy. Yeah. I was going to say, I almost hate to ask because of the sweetness happening here. I just can't take my eyes off these guys. But I know that you also brought... Uh, some kind of a mystery animal. Do they have to right. be separate? She, I guess. Here, you want to try to hold this one. So okay, hold we this. We've got about one. a minute left to see the mi the mystery animal. So you we'll got it. Oh so this one Hi, is a uh, this one we're bringing out. It's also a rescue. Okay. And um, mother got hit by a car, and um, this is the only one that we that was still left. Okay. Um, they so get a really bad reputation, but they're really I'm sweet. Lose You've hold the here. Yeah, sorry. I'm, uh, there we go. Okay, there give we me go. just a second. Go. He's Once you get to hold that bottle, you'll be good. Okay, well, as she's pulling that out, give us the overview when, when uh, you bring these animals to a party, and, and that's the format. Yeah, so they get, the they, they get to pick the animals yep. that come, Okay. and they're right. my special assistant, so they get to interact with animals nobody else gets to and pull up a couple them. friends. Well, it's yeah. a lot of fun every time you bring somebody on, and yeah. now we have the mystery animal making its way to the set right now. Welcome to, Her go ahead and introduce. This scum. is Sir Edmund the Frisky. And he is an eight-week-old oh baby skunk. So he does have some unusual markings. You're probably used to seeing skunks with a lot more white yeah. on them with that. Oh so he gosh, has just amazing. little bits here with this. And so these guys 
are always animals that you're blessed if you see them in your yard. It's something that you want to have. Absolutely, and yeah. I think that that's, that's the educational message. When they're, they're so little and sweet, you've got this beautiful menagerie and this, and this great mission of teaching everybody. So well, we love Wildlife Geeks where conservation meets the classroom. Um, anything else before we go? Just again, if you see these little guys, mm -hmm. they're probably there to eat mice or yellow jackets okay. in your yard, so they're be friends. kind to them. You they're definitely your want them around. All right, be kind. Hi, baby. Oh my goodness, this right. is wild. Well, <laughs> people can book your programs through your wild, through your website, learn about all the experiences you offer. Thanks so much for bringing them to studio, and we'll have that right. information on accesscarolina.com. Okay.